What's happening, fellow Cobras? Welcome back to the Strike First Podcast. This is your first time with us, and you love Cobra Kai and Karate Kid. Consider joining the dojo today by following my Instagram, at Strike First Podcast, and hitting the red subscribe button below. Today, we'll be discussing how Cobra Kai Season 4 could mirror this epic Star Wars scene. So there's been a number of instances in the Cobra Kai series that closely mirrors the franchise of Star Wars. Ever since the original Karate Kid, it's been Miyagi-Do versus Cobra Kai. And in Star Wars, it's been the Jedi versus the Sith. These similarities show that Miyagi-Do is the Jedi, of course, Cobra Kai is the Sith, Robbie having a very similar character arc to Anakin Skywalker, as well as the similarities in some of the musical score we have seen in the show compared to the collection of the Star Wars films. And just this past weekend, I was on a live stream on Talking Cobra Kai's channel with The Chosen One and Boxiest. We were doing a simple Q&A, just talking about Star Wars similarities to Cobra Kai. We then received a question talking about if Cobra Kai wins the All Valley, Kreese and Silver will build dojos all over the valley. It was at that moment where I came up with another theory that mirrors Cobra Kai and Star Wars plot lines. So here it is. So, you remember how in Revenge of the Sith, how the ending of that was Palpatine and Vader watching the Death Star being built. Kreese and Silver. (laughs) Oh! All the dojos be built, and it's kind of like. Both of them standing side by side. Yep. And almost instantly, when we started talking about this, I came up with this theory. And I just think it would fit perfectly, as it's not the same formula as Revenge of the Sith, but it still has similarities that make it a successful example of great storytelling. And those similarities that I can see Season 4 having with Revenge of the Sith relate with Robbie's fall to Cobra Kai, embracing their philosophy of karate because he felt like he was betrayed by his girlfriend Sam and Sensei Daniel, just like Anakin's fall to the dark side, by embracing their philosophy of the Force because he felt like he was betrayed by his wife Padme and Master Obi-Wan. As myself and many others have said before, I think we definitely need Cobra Kai to win this tournament. We just need the bad guys to win, just like in Revenge of the Sith. Not so Cobra Kai can be like Star Wars, but so it can give Kreese and Silver's characters more purpose in the show. If Kreese and Silver lose this tournament again, they'll just be known as Daniel's punching bag because he always beats them, which just isn't anything really new or fresh, and no one will respect them after that. And to me personally, it just begs the question that if Kreese and Silver lose once again, where does the story even go after that? With Cobra Kai winning, it'll also give Silver's return a lot more meaning and set up a solid story of them opening up a chain of Cobra Kai dojos in the valley while Daniel and Johnny figure out another plan of what they need to do to take out Kreese and Silver once and for all. But guys, this is just a brief overview of my thoughts and opinions on the subject. Join me down low in the comments section. What do you think of these similarities between the Cobra Kai and Star Wars franchises? And what do you think of the chances we'll get some sort of scenario of Kreese and Silver watching dojo chains of Cobra Kai being built at the end of Season 4 like Vader and Palpatine watch the Death Star being built at the end of Revenge of the Sith? I love hearing your guys' thoughts to my crazy theories, so make sure to put in your two cents on this one. As well as give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and hit that subscribe button if you want to continue to stay updated on Cobra Kai and Karate Kid content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, now you're in the real world, kid. So you might want to learn to strike first.